Hello to my Sagittarius family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for January 17th through the 23rd. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new or returning to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, these are general readings, Sagittarius, so I'm picking up your Sagittarian energy in a general sense. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's take a look at your cards for the week ahead. First, the moon. Next, eight of cups. And the tower wow we will get to your other cards in just a little bit sagittarius but i am really picking up your full force energy sagittarius for like a fresh start this is like a new adventure this is moving away from what you've been doing so truly your sagittarian spirit is really coming into play here this might be a pivotal week for you where you are just tired of how things have been and you're just packing up and moving and leaving and going off like on a new adventure. So looking at your cards here, definitely Sagittarius, you're going to be going off in a new direction. And that can be any number of things. That could be where you live, a new job, relationships, concern for your health and well-being because something is actually being eliminated, where you're kind of thinking, well, I've got nothing to lose, and you don't even have a full game plan in place. You're just trusting that everything is gonna fall into place. So very much wanting that new adventure, and this is actually very refreshing, new, positive energy, is what you're trying to obtain. So starting with your first card and actually looking at both your bookend cards here, they're both major arcana cards. So there is definitely change coming in this week. And in the middle, you are making a decision because you're just simply sick and tired of how things are. You're leaving. You're leaving despite not knowing exactly where you're going to land. Something here is coming to an end and it's sparking all of this. So with your first card, the moon, kind of an indication that you're really going by your gut this week. You can't see specifically how things are going to work out for you, Sagittarius. And you're just per se going for it. It's pretty much just intuitively, you're heading off into uh, something new, but something has come to an end. So that is what is sparking like all this energy. So there's a lot hidden about where you're headed, what you want to do. For some Sagittarians, you might be accepting a new job, one in which you have to move house and you're okay with that because you're up for it because you're tired of what I'm going to say the repetitive cycle where you're currently at. So you're ready for it. And with this being Pisces card and energy, you're just feeling this is the right thing for you to do. So very much intuitive energy this week, despite not knowing specifically outcomes, where you're going to land. So it's how you perceive things and still moving forward. You're really trusting in your intuition this week. So let's pull a clarifying card for the moon. See if there's any other information. But you see the crab here? It's actually chained up being pulled out of the water here, which is kind of unusual because usually the moon card has like the crawfish, like just crawling up out of the water on its own. But 
this is being dragged into this energy. And the crab here just represents like shedding your old skin and moving on, you know, to something new. Very dramatic, intense, intuitive energy this week. So let's pull that clarifying card. Whoops. And a couple fell out, but they're telling me not to worry about those. The three of wands. Yeah, you've made a decision. You're setting things in motion. This number three is new beginnings. So definitely moving on to something new. Pretty exciting and adventurous energy here. But if not now, when? Really a good time to venture off into something new with the way things are. Next, here is the action taking place here with this Eight of Cups. This is looking to your future. You're tired of circumstances, relationships, your job, whatever it may be, where you're living, any of those things, and you just know things will be better elsewhere. So you're making that decision to leave. And again, look, the moon is predominant here in your reading because despite not knowing exactly what you're going to come across, you have made this voluntary decision to move on to something new for your future. And what's interesting, most of the time, the eight of cups, all the cups are upright, but look at this. You've got three. Three of them are, are overturned. And that is what your next card's energy has done. This energy. And also seeing it in your first card here with, it's like you're, this is representing you. You're being dragged. You're being pulled or dragged. It's your choice. But like something has happened, something has prompted like this energy. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Eight of Cups. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is winning at all costs, kind of energy so could be something that you do that prompts this energy maybe something uh possibly backfires this is like some kind of radical change that has shaken things up for you this week Sagittarius and you're making the decision to move on so that certainly could be moving that could be getting a different job. It could be ending a relationship and just moving on. Next card, the tower. Now the tower card here is not destroying the entire tower, is it? But it is eliminating some very top levels. Maybe some of the recent things that you've introduced into your life. So there could be people around you. It could be maybe a job that you've not had for very long. It's something where it's being eliminated. So it could be a relationship. It could possibly be where you're living. Things might not be working out. So something is causing this kind of energy where you're now moving on to something different. Certainly, your kind of energy. So, Tower card is always a card of something quite unexpected. It could be that something is now being revealed to you. And you assumed something. And now it is no longer there. This can be something that really surprises you. For some, it might be a layoff from your job. There's not enough work. 
It could maybe be unexpected increases in the bills that you have, like your rent, something of that nature, where you're just deciding to leave and find someplace else to live. So it's something of that nature here. So let's pull a clarifying card. But this number 16 with the tower card reduces to seven. Sevens represent forces that you have to deal with, but not within your control. So this is something that's happening, more based kind of like on situations or circumstances. And yeah, it can be what other people do around you as well. You can't control everyone. But this is certainly telling you to persevere. Yep, I already felt that energy. As I said the word persevere, there we go. Strength card. Whatever this tower represents or brings into you or already has, you're finding this strength to keep going. And more than that, I see such an adventurous type spirit. Your Sagittarian type spirit where you're just going to move on to something new. You're going to land on your feet and begin again. Very adventurous energy coming in as a result of something that has ended. And without having specific plans and what I'm going to say guarantees, you're headed for something new. And I really like the fact that it's got the number eight energy with the strength and then also here with the eight of cups. This is what you're moving towards, something that's going to have more chance for abundance, fulfillment for you, Sagittarius. Now, your numerology here for your three tarot cards is number 42, which reduces to six. And six is all about harmony and balance. And if you hadn't heard it by now, Sagittarius, 2022 is the universal year of like the number six. That energy where you find that harmony and balance and getting yourself grounded and centered and just moving forward. Now, your last tarot card here is kind of like an overall energy. It kind of sums up what your tarot cards are all about. Wow, and you have strength showing up again. But it's interesting on this clarifying card, look at this. It's like uh, at the final stages of Taming the Lion. But here now, the overall energy, you've got everything under control. So it's a really nice energy indicating that you're going to be successful as you're venturing off into something new. You're just tired of how things are and you're taking control of your life, Sagittarius. And by doing so, you're going to pretty much guarantee for some new experiences, something different. Crystal for the week. Sarasite. Boy, you can't make this up. The crystal of travel. Just how perfect. Definitely can be in regards to business, your work, your job. Also moving. So just picking up that like some of you are leaving where you're where you are living or where you were living before, either going to something that's going to be more beneficial for you. I'm picking up it could be like where you were sharing the expenses with someone and that has come to an end. So there's a reason why this move is taking place. Could also be a new job where they're paying for you to move to where the job is. But it's an energy of just going for it, trying new things. And I love the Sarosite crystal. It concerns your root and crown chakra. So it's about grounding and centering yourself, putting up a new foundation here with your tower card. What your tower card got rid of here. It was something that was no longer of use to you anymore. Whether it felt like it at the time or not, it's to your benefit. So you're going to be like rebuilding like a new level of this tower 
something that's going to be more in line with what you originally want. And then also the Sarasite crystal is your crown chakra. So you're really in touch with your intuition. You're getting the signs and signals and messages and really Sagittarius, just going for it this week. All systems go. Such a wonderful energy that I'm picking up for you. Last card here, final message from the Shaman's Dream Oracle deck. First breath. Okay. First breath, beginner's mind. Definitely the energy that it was picking up. You are starting off onto something new. This is about leaving your past behind you. Stop revisiting the old stories, the tales, the experiences. Just kind of leaving it behind. Not bringing that energy into where you're going. Telling you to like, Take your first breath on your new journey. This is certainly a card about trusting your instincts, your curiosity. You're not going to be concerned thinking about like if it's going to be a difficult time or when or where or how. You're just going to get there. It's just experiencing the journey and not worrying about the destination, so to speak. This really taps into this energy here, especially with the little crab here. That's you shedding the old you, Sagittarius. So you're no longer concerned with the old you in the past. And this is the beginner's mind. It's about not labeling or naming what you see or experience. Just be in the moment. Breathe. Definitely a card indicating new beginnings to create your own destiny, one that you want to live in. So an indication here this week, Sagittarius, do not underestimate the power that you have. The power, the magic, and the adventurous spirit is what I'm picking up for the week ahead. You are definitely moving on to something new and better and leaving the old behind. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for private tarot card reading, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Sagittarius family.